Bienvenue en Haiti. My name is Vonette and I am the business services manager on board Logos Hope. And I am excited to share with you what just happened here in my home country during the first visit of Logos Oak to Port-au-Prince, Haiti. It has been 30 years since the last visit of one of our ships to this Caribbean island. With much anticipation, the ship's crew was welcomed by the Haitian people and the view of beautiful mountains in Port-au-Prince, the capital of Haiti. The mayor of the city, Ralph Yuri Chevry, opened the ship to the public and stated that it was his pleasure to welcome Logos Hope, not only because of its diversity of cultures, but also it was another initiative to promote literature in the country. Chevry thankfully emphasized the importance of the ship's visit in providing possibilities for learning to many. Our onboard events focus on training and encouraging leaders of current and the next generation to help with the long term of development in the country. Hundreds of church workers came to attend a conference for a time of refreshment, learning and sharing. The pastors were encouraged to continue in their service and to invest in people from their communities. A non-governmental organization forum was held on board Logoso to provide a platform for organization members to exchange their experiences and new ideas with others. They discuss how aid organizations, businesses and government can work together more efficiently in order to make a greater impact. After the devastating earthquake in 2010, over 200,000 Haitians lost their lives. We can still see the effects of the earthquake. So crew members decided to go onshore to help with local organizations who have been working in the country for the past few years. The chance to be part of a construction project of a school gave crew members the opportunity to use their professional skills. It was encouraging to take part in a lasting project that our partner organization, OM Haiti, will be opening in the near future. Volunteers help to install solar panels that will provide electricity to power water pumps for various buildings. They also built a playground for the school children and a kitchen. Another team of 19 crew members spent five days at Beraka, Haiti, a local orphanage that was founded by foreigners and Haitians. The crew was involved in mural painting, practical work, and children's programs and were impacted by the dedication of the staff members not only to the children in the orphanage but also to the community around them. The team was glad to partner with an organization that is bringing change from within Haiti by building up the next generation. Para mí Logos Hope eh, es más que una bendición, es una respuesta a nuestras oraciones y algunas de nuestras necesidades que tenemos ya hace bueno cinco años en Haití. Eh, desde que llegó el equipo Hace un mes atrás, el equipo de preparación, hemos estado trabajando en comunión y todo el tiempo ellos están mirando nuestras necesidades y cómo apoyarnos a los que vivimos y estamos en este lugar. Así que para mí el Logo Hope es mucho más que un barco, es un, una parte del ministerio que nosotros no teníamos y que ahora ha llegado para suplirnos. The children from Beraka, Haiti, as well as from other orphanages, experienced the joy of an outing to the ship and attended onboard events designed especially for them. We had such an incredible time here in Haiti. We were blessed to reconnect with old friends and form new friendships. We appreciate your support and prayers. Although my time to my country has come to an end, we will continue to bring hope from shore to shore as we sail throughout the rest of the Caribbean.